The motorcade of the president of Mozambique, Felipe Nyusi, arrived at State House in Tebe a few minutes past midday to a red carpet guard of honor mounted by armed forces and a 21 gun salute accorded by President Yori Museveni. Later, during an open session, the two heads of state indicated that they had agreed to cooperate in the fields of security and conservation. The security aspect was more critical given the fact that the government of Mozambique is dealing with Islamist insurgents in the north of the country. The district towards the northern part of Cabo Delgado province, uh, there have been uh, since 20. Uh, 17, 16, 17, I'm not being invaded by terrorists. Women killing children, and they were also burning their houses, burning villages, and also kidnapping uh, youth. President Nusi expressed a willingness to receive different kinds of support from Uganda. Uganda is supporting and we are already concerting and many other things will come and we are working deeply. Other things will, will be coming. The provision of military support was not ruled out by President Museveni. The current deployment of 6,000 soldiers to the peacekeeping mission in Somalia and another 4,000 to the Democratic Republic of Congo was said to be the main impediment to an immediate deployment to Mozambique. What we decided to do for now was to, to send materials. This is what His Excellency was talking about. And I'm told the problem is being solved. But if it is not solved, uh, for, for some reason, uh, uh, and we have uh, quietened the issue in the Congo, which we should not want to stay there forever, then we, have, we shall have to deploy a big force there, not, not, not uh, a small force. President Museveni said the primary objective will not be to go on the offensive, but to protect the communities. The size of the force to be deployed hasn't been determined. Terrorism which came after nearby, not in, not in Montepage, but nearby. Uh, that's why we had this idea that, oh, maybe we should add a, a protection force. So the force, to, the size will be determined. Fight, soldiers are for fighting, not for sitting. If, if somebody comes in, in our zone, we fight. Rwanda is the only East African community country that has deployed troops in Mozambique during the most recent phase of insurgency. On the conservation front, Museveni pledged to offer free training to Mozambicans in Ugandan institutions. He will give instructions on that one also, but for us we are ready uh, at Uganda government cost to train any, any Mozambicans whom they send here for the wildlife course. The support is highlighted as an expression of gratitude for the sanctuary and training for Limo offered to Fronasa fighters led by Museveni. During his three-day stay in the country, President Nusi will visit Kaumu Presidential Demonstration Farm in Nakaseke District and UPDF Luero Industries, among others. Jackson Onyango, NTV.